In this video, we'll see how to download and install the ID Scout software, also how to activate the ID Scout software PC license on our Windows based PC. To download the ID Scout software application, the latest version can be downloadable from the Omicron website. You can download directly from the Omicron website from the down. You can easily select the products. So here you can see the ID Scout product by selecting it you'll directly reach the id scout uh, web page and then there you can see the download option in the left side icon so by filling the form with the proper information about your um, name and company email address and company details you can download the software from this method in case if you have a omicron customer portal access or one of the Omicron test set, you can select the top right login button and use the Omicron customer portal access. There is another video how, how you can able to register for Omicron customer portal access. Maybe you can refer to that video in the Omicron customer portal playlist in the channel. Let me log in here. I have an account created already. On the top right, there are, there are three lines that you can select and go to the menu of software overview. You can scroll down or just type the software that we are looking for and filter with the specific information as you wish. So this is in ascending order for the different software applications. So I select show all, all downloads and info for ID code software. On the top level, you'll be able to see the overview of an ID Scout software application. And the system requirement is very important before we start installing the software by downloading it. So we support the latest um, Windows operating system. Thus, at the moment, uh, we have Windows 11 64 bit operating system model. Also, in case if you have still running Windows 10, it's recommended to update uh, the windows patches the windows update um, sometime the the pc there we wanted to install the id scout is managed by the company it team so it's important to manage the the windows update uh, properly if it is not managed by the it team you can update the the windows updates uh, manually but most of the cases the the company IT team used to keep the, the patches up to date for your Windows PCs. And these are the minimum requirements for the, the hardware that you are going to install with ID Scout software. So you can download the latest version depending on the compatibility of the Windows operating system on your PC. So I have downloaded the software already. Let's go to the installation directly. So it's important to have the administrator rights um, on the PC where you wanted to install the ID Scout software application because it, it's going to install a couple of uh, supporting software that require administrator rights to start the, the services in the back end when the PC is booting to make use of the ID Scout software or any other software application by default. On the pop-up, by selecting the ID Scout installation, you get a, uh, an overview. Whether you wanted to use ID Scout software application for the different type of SQL files, part of the 670 standard part number six. So we have a couple of uh, system specific files and ID specific files. So, so these are the file formats we do get from different ID configuration tools, system configuration tool or system specification tools. So when you have an SEL files saved or created or shared by someone on your PC, by default, the ID Scout icon uh, applied when you enable this option. In case if you do not want to uh, open those file extension by default with ID Scout, you can uncheck it so that you can directly open it with the different ID configuration tool or system configuration tool that are available on your PC installed. So I would like to open the all different type of SQL files with ID Scout. So I enable this option by default. You can also flexibly choose where you wanted to um, keep the repository of your installable 
that we're gonna do. So by default, uh, the Windows operating system uh, deploy the resource files to the 64-bit location on your default um, uh, drive within the C drive. So in case you would like to move uh, the installation files into different drive, flexibility you can able to manage by selecting this folder option in the three dots. So I go with default options. And you get another pop-up uh, on the installation, which is related to NPCAP uh, OEM version 1.60 setup. And you may also get um, the latest version of uh, NPCAP drivers from different uh, website. So it's important to have the, the right um, version together with the ID Scout uh, software application to manage the, the proper information when you are working with the ID Scout software application using Sniffer. Also, to start with ID Scout with the, the adapter that you're going to choose in the configuration section. So the ID Scout used to um, deploy the supporting software, which is NPCAP in this case, that is really required for the packet capture um, related uh, requirements because so, ID Scout uses the the communication protocol related to MMS, GOOSE, and also more than that related to TCPIP uh, error information. So the NPCAP driver software contains the Windows um, pickup drivers for different um, protocols. So it allows us to support us using the ID Scout in the backend. So I select Agree. And it's important to enable the install NPCAP in Windows, uh, PCAP, WinPCAP uh, AP compatible mode. So basically what happens by selecting this uh, option, some of the other software that are still using WinPCAP um, DLL files, because this is uh, the older option for the Windows um, based operating system supporting software. Some of the developers uh, used uh, or written the code which may use WinPCAP. Uh, so in those cases, you can enable the, the last option here to make it easier for the other software to work uh, when you update uh, the NPCAP um, driver on your PC. So let me select install. So the NPCAP driver will be installed. So, so both older version of software that you have in your PC in case that are used, uh, they're gonna be used with NPCAP, also the latest um, software that is mostly used um, the NPCAP. So the WinPCAP pickup driver um, library support is ended um, up to Windows 10. So Windows 8, so from Windows 10 and Windows uh, 11, it's recommended to have the NPCAP um, pickup driver library. So installation is um, in progress. It may take a few minutes, depending on your uh, PC performance, also RAM, the installation take a few minutes. Meantime, I'll also show some of the other useful information from the Omicron customer portal. You can get to know the what's new document um, about the latest features and improvements that are covered in the latest version of ID is called software application and the application notes and an installation guide and a PDF file format that you can also easily reach from here. And the brochure on the top level about the different um, applications of the ID code. And then you also get to know the different um, hardware option other than the ID code uh, PC license and how well you can able to manage the ID code in different hardware options. So there is another video I'll be um, posting in the ID code on MBX1 playlist where you can get the, the 
information about the, the discord software application running on the dedicated uh, sub-secure hardware application. So there are a couple of services um, also installed together when we install the ID code, latest version of uh, software. Not only the ID code um, software application, uh, Omicron device link also installed together. Then Omicron uh, communication services and Omicron device filing services also installed in the backend and it also starts in the backend. To allow certain um, rules applied on the Windows PC, it take a few minutes. Now we see the Omicron ID code latest version has been installed successfully, and we can press close option here. It's important to restart the PC um, before you start using the ID code software application so that all the supporting uh, driver software install in the back end and it works very well for you. Before you start activating the ID code license, um, you may pay for the ID code PC license and you generally get the ID code software PC license through an email with a secure OneDrive link or directly an attachment to the, the email from the Omicron team. So let me select the Omicron ID code software application and start opening it. And I also have um, dedicated hardware, which I will cover later on in another video. What are the different benefits? So in this case, let's um, use ID code PC license option. So at the moment, I did not activate um, the ID code license on this PC before. That's the reason I do see um, an option which can enable us to make use of the trial version of the ID code in case if you already installed and make use of this uh, trial period. Maybe you can see a different um, text messages here. For example, the trial period has been expired, so you need to mandate to provide the, the ID code PC license. In my case, I have uh, the ID code um, PC license. So this is uh, the ID code license. I can select um, Control A, Control C. and come back to the, the key. I can able to just provide paste. Then I see the ID code PC license is belong to um, Omicron Electronics uh, Germany office because this license is for the Omicron Academy PC. So one of the license which I deactivated and then gonna activate on the same PC. So the license that we do get from the Omicron team is a lifetime license for a single PC. So I can just press activate button. Before that, I need to make sure that I have an internet access on my PC so that when we enable the activation option here on my PC, it connects to the Omicron license server. So I can see in the top Omicron ID Scout license too. The company information which are managed in the Omicron uh, license. I can also see this information from the configuration menu. There I go to the license data. I see the, the license information to whom it was registered and the validity. As I said before, the ID code license for the PC is lifetime license. So the has no expiry. Um, as long as you have the ID code license safe with you, activated and maintained properly, 
you are allowed to update to the latest version of IDS code software application and make use of the new um, features. And you also can easily share the license uh, within the team by just copying the license from this level and pasting it into Notepad. Then you can deactivate it. Make sure that you copy the license and save it safely before you perform deactivate option. And deactivate option also required an internet access. And then you can move the, the IDS code license from one PC to another PC. For example, another colleague from your team requesting for an IDS code license to be used for some testing purpose, troubleshooting activity, then you can share the IDS code license within the team by deactivating so that by sharing the copied license and send it to him, he can activate by having an internet access, installing an ID code software on his PC. So this is how we easily download the latest version of ID code and then install it properly on our Windows PC, then activating with internet access. In case if you have any problem, you are feel free to contact Omicron Technical Support from the Omicron webpage. There is a support menu there you can reach the technical support. There you can see the different support line category. Depending on your location, you can choose the right region to get the fastest technical support um, from our Omicron team. Thank you. Take care.